Hello, this video here is designed to show uh, the learner how to upload evidence to their portfolio. The learner, which is Benson 02, password, sign in. So the learners in their portfolio, just to recap, their profile is their own details. So if they need to change anything as to where they live or they want to upload a photo, they can do it from here. If they want to get back to their main front page, to skills file home. Now, as it says there, my portfolio, you can click that and the learner then will be taken to the front page of their portfolio. It's turned out doing a level two MVQ diploma in Woodox, which is the site carpentry. It also has all the information on the right there. And there is the upload evidence button. So by clicking on that, they can select what type of evidence they're uploading. So we say it's a candidate statement. Give it a title. This can be, you can decide what uh, what, how your learners, um, or what your learners put in the title for it. For this example, I'm just putting the date, brief description, and then again in here in the details. Now, if they're uploading the document, really, do they really need to be, um, it's down to your discretion as to what you want them to put in here. It says there they have 3,000 characters to put in here. It may be where you're asking them to actually put in there what parts of the qualification you think it covers or what units. But again, that's entirely down to uh, how you explain or what you describe to your learners as to what you want them to put in here. The purpose of this, I'm just going to put the following. They can then browse to where the evidence is. And for this example, I'm attaching this document and then click save. They can upload videos, audio, as well to the site. When it goes onto the site, I'll show you exactly what it looks like as evidence. It says now is uploading the information, and it's been done. So the learner has uploaded the evidence, and their assessor, who is Jane Christensen, will see when they log on that actually the evidence is there waiting to be assessed. If they want to check it, it'll actually be in, in the unassessed box, and there's the evidence. All evidence is uploaded, regardless if this is by the learner, the assessor, or anyone else that has authorization to upload evidence to the learner, it will be in there. Thanks very much.